Hey, we're back in the mud today. <laughs> we're uh, doing the 358 modified out of Eldora. Uh, whew. Ought to be good. <laughs> Not sure how this is going to go. This um, seems a little bit more straightforward um, driving wise than maybe even the last one I did at Lima Land, I believe. Uh, a lot more on throttle time. But uh, man, I'm still just trying to get the hang of uh, how these things control. Really trying to keep it out of the wall. Um, had a hard time keeping that <laughs> promise in practice. Just uh, don't have the greatest handle on how these things work yet. But I've uh, been putting in some decent times, it looks like. I say, as I got a, what, sixth place that was? <laughs> so we'll see, but. I'll probably end up. Oh. Oh. There's no way that's staying. Um, we'll see um, what happens, but uh, I don't expect to be very fast. I just want to worry about being clean. Um, as I'm still learning dirt oval. Um, it, it really seems like uh, the higher you are in the track, the faster you're going, but uh, obviously it's more risky. Because uh, you hit the wall, there's always a chance it could grab you. Like, look at that. That would have invalidated my lap had I done that. So I feel like that was a pretty decent time, that second lap I did. Probably some beginner's luck. But uh, you know, even that little tap disqualifies you. And you don't want to be doing that during the race at all. Because, you know, you hit it just a tiny bit harder, there's... Look at that, there it is. Then suddenly you're getting plowed in two from behind and uh, you're flipping 300 times, so. Good lord, did I really qualify pole? Why? <laughs> uh, I don't even know if I like that. Now I'm just gonna wreck the entire field instead of the second half of the field that qualified behind me. Oh boy, well. <laughs> uh, positive thinking. Now I'll, t I'll, I'll, I'll be safe, I'll take it easy, you know, I think during the race I'm going to be uh, not quite as close to the wall, probably off throttle a little bit more than uh, I need to be, because I think uh, the real talented guys, they can just keep their foot in it, and uh, I don't think I want to do that, I think I'm going to, you know, keep uh, a little bit of more throttle control in there to make sure I'm in control of the car. Ugh. Would have liked a little more practice. Uh, I got about 15 minutes first time here with this car and track and whatever. Um, yeah, but like I said, it's it's pretty straightforward. You know, you're just trying to run the wall. It uh, reminds me of I don't know the Xfinity cars at Atlanta or something. <laughs> you know, you're running the high side. At least that's how I remember one of my setups running there before. And I always enjoyed that, so. I think the 87 Legends at Atlanta also were kind of the same way. Like, you could run the high side in turns one and two, and I really enjoyed doing that. Just getting as close as you can without actually touching it. That's the key, so. Oh, boy. I, I guess I really did qualify first, huh? How much time we got? About a minute. Yeah, someone could swoop in. Um, man, this has made my hands hurt. <laughs> Because, uh, how crazy it is. I don't know how to restart in this thing. What the heck? Well, you do like this, and then... I don't think I've ever had pole on dirt. Have I? I don't think so. I know people, like, dive down, right? And I don't want to get back to that high set as soon as possible if I can. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Number eight. As soon as, uh, there weren't too many people online, I don't think, so this could be second split or top split. I don't really know where I stack up. I've got about, like, I don't know, 1,800-something I rating on Dirt Oval, mostly from street stocks, Dirt Street Stocks and the rookie thing, until they forcibly took that away from me, because <laughs> I hit, like, C-Class, I guess, and then they're like, nope, no more rookie street stocks for you. You're a big boy now. <laughs> so... That was a sad day, but we're getting kicked out. We got the pole. Oops. I don't know 
what I'm doing. I don't know why I got the pole. Everyone qualified but the two. Oh, God. Well, we'll see what happens. Don't run into anybody. And uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, there's 12 people. Maybe a top five. Uh, I think I'd better just be happy with getting eighth or above, maybe. <laughs> That's probably where I need to be thinking. Because uh, qualifying doesn't mean much of anything if you can't race. So I've got to keep uh, that in mind. Excuse me. I just realized I don't even have my mic close enough to me. Bring that a little closer. I talk quiet enough already. Hmm. These things are weird to even, like, pace with. Because it, like, lurches sometimes when you let go of the gas. I don't know. I'm, there's a lot of new things I'm learning about these cars and everything. Like, ew, it feels weird. Does it feel weird? Oh, Jesus. Do I have this muted? No, okay. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anyone saying, like, Pulse Sitter, what are you doing? You're supposed to line up other place. As far as I know, there's weird customs that I don't know about. Why are they all the way back there? Why are they hanging back? Am I supposed to be back there? <laughs> Does he want to get a run on me? I don't know. I assume he'll know what he's doing, being the number one. He'll probably uh, zoom past me soon enough. truck. Get off the course. Uh, hit the gas. Hey, he got the outside. Did I chop him? Oh my god, I hope I didn't cut him off. I didn't mean to if I did. Looked like he really lost momentum. I hope I didn't. I really didn't mean to. Oh boy. Well, I'll stay up here now. Because that seems to be the place to be fast. And uh, just try to stay out of the wall. I'm going to get close, but not uh, quite all the way, I think, is how I'm going to do this. Good job, Seven. That's not me. That sarcastic good job was not for me. Okay. Oh, my heart is racing. This is crazy. <laughs> I assume they're going to catch me. Oh, I'm too close to the wall. Oh my god. Kind of got bogged down on exit there. That guy's close to me. Gee whiz. Consistency. Let's just do that. Consistency. Beginner's luck and consistency. That's what I run on. Oh, that was almost the wall. It got weird. It got weird. Oh, he's on my inside. This is so intense. Don't hit the wall. Oh my lord. Oh, he's so close. He's cutting me off. I think that was an aggressive move. <laughs> I don't know the cuss of that. Maybe that's a normal move in dirt racing, but sure felt aggressive. Oh, they're all so close to me. Oh, I do not feel very in control, I'll be honest. I do not feel comfortable. Not comfortable enough for this. Oh, I'm gonna pass out. I need to breathe more. Whew. As a leader, that's not even true. Please, spotter, I'm confused enough already. Uh, isn't there a guy to my low side or something? I think he's still down there. I think he's been down there for like 20 laps. Oh, <laughs> no, he's not down there. What if I do this? 
what happens here? Was that a slide? I think I accidentally cut him off. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Oh. Oh my god. This hurts my arms. Oh, I hit the wall. Oh god, don't hit the wall. <laughs> I think I, I think that was a good pass. I think I cut him off, and maybe he was he would have been mad at that. But uh, oh, two sideways. I'm all over the place. I think we're not even halfway there. Gee whiz, I'm gonna actually pass out before the end of this one. front of me, kind of getting trapped. Oh, shoot. He doesn't really have anywhere to go, because I'm not going to let him slide in front of me. Oh. This is not good commentary, I don't think. Sweating. Is that the Pillsbury Doughboy? He's now noticed that. Distracting me with thoughts of cookies. Oh. I just want to live. I just want to live. Darn diabetes from looking at this Pillsbury boy. Oh, he checks up in front of me. I didn't mean to do that. I think he checked up in front of me. That's the only reason that happened. Unless uh, I did something wrong. Could have happened. He cuts me off. I go lift for him. This high side feels like it's getting worn down. I think I'm going to experiment. That did not work. We're going back up. I don't even have time to, like, bring up my delta bar or anything like that. Like, there's no way. God, how have I not hit the wall? I swear to you, I was hitting the wall every third lap in practice. Adrenaline's running high. Oh, he's crossing him over. Oh my god, I think I might have hit him. I'm so sorry. I hit the wall a little bit. <sighs> Deep breath. Focus. Pretend you're at Atlanta in a great setup in a car that loves the high line and that you're not getting dirt in your face right now. Oh. The guy's in the wall bad. He's, uh, I thought he was going to be slow on the high side, so I kind of went low. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm really trying to leave room, I am. I'm just not good. I'm glad these tear-offs happen automatically sometimes. Because I do not have the free finger to deal with that. Oh my god, we hit the wall. I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh. <sighs> it's really slick up here now. Oh. 
crosses me over. Oh, he hit the wall, I think. Okay. That means we can get our hard side back. Oh my god, look how loose it is on entry now. Oh, it's so hard to control. Just bring it home. Just bring it home. Oh, the top three would be so amazing. Okay, we got space behind us, so I'm gonna take the corners even lower. Oh. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we got third. Whew. Good race, guys. Sorry if I was a little erratic. I'm still learning these things. <laughs> that was fun. Fun, but man, it was scary. I think with a little practice, I could get more used to it. <laughs> and maybe be able to relax and enjoy it a, more, a bit more instead of just uh, having a couple strokes at once. Oh, that's great though. I got the pole and got a podium. That's number eight. All right, I'm happy with that. And uh, zero X, I don't think I made any, too many huge mistakes. Whew. I can't believe that was only 30 laps. That felt like an eternity, I'll be honest. Let's, uh, oh my God, who are you? Uh, <laughs> no, not practice. Let's uh, see the any accidents that happened out there no idea if I did the start right. Probably not. It doesn't look like how it normally looks like whenever I see other people do starts, so I probably didn't do anything right. Oh. Oh, man. I had some serious issues back there. I don't think there's yellows in this series. So even if they crash worse, I don't think that we're uh, getting any stoppage. That's, uh... Seven's getting up there in the wall a little bit. I think guys can kind of abuse the system a little bit and, you know, kind of barely tap the wall and go real fast. I hear that's something that isn't so great about the current damage model. Um, I'm not tempting fate <laughs> and touching the wall at all. Plus, ooh, because look, that's what can happen. <sighs> yeah, that's what can happen. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at... Uh, scoreboard and I'm still lightheaded. Uh, there's me up there. Probably holding up the four. But uh, Tim just gets in the wall a little bit. Nothing much. Already halfway through. Not too much contact I guess. That is a lot of bit of contact. That's a three again. He was already in the had an issue uh, earlier. A pretty big issue. 16 in the wall. I'm proud of myself for not dying, because, uh, I mean, I was doing that, exactly that, like, ten times a minute in practice, and, uh, you know, I was just testing the limits, and, uh, kind of tried to underdrive it a little bit. Ooh, the line's kind of met there. Oh, <laughs> head-on collision. They're all right, they're going, they're fine. Oh, Pillsbury. That's what happened behind us. That's where they went. Ten took a bite out of Pillsbury. Um, oh, was that after the race? Yeah, that was after the race. And uh, <laughs> that uh, green and white car that I guess he's six kind of put the emergency brake out. <laughs> and Seven wasn't ready for it. These things aren't quite that easy to uh, stop. So, Whew. yeah. So I hope I did a decent job. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, after this, just watch it over again, watch myself and see how I looked out there because I'm not sure quite how I did. But uh, the result was pretty good, I think. Uh, top three, all right. Uh, so I hope that was fun to watch, watching uh, a beginner, uh, basically <laughs> beginner loser coming in here and trying to run the series. You know, just uh, all, all all I had was about uh, 15 minutes of practice with this car here, and uh, I was watching some videos from Nick Nieben and uh, 
some randos online, other guys, <laughs> just watching how they ran it. So I tried to emulate that. And uh, it kind of worked out, I think. But we'll, I'll see later if I was being as erratic as I felt I was. But anyway, enough uh, blabbering. Thanks for watching. <laughs>